Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands, bro. Let me see your hands. This is newly released video from a police chase in Albuquerque, New Mexico that happened back in October. It matters to us in Central Texas because that city's police chief at the time is now in charge of Round Rock's police department. Alan Banks initially defended that officer's actions and refused to release that video. KXAN investigator Robert Maxwell joins us now with more. Robert? Robert Shannon at the time, while Alan Banks was filling in as police chief last fall, the Albuquerque Police Department was under a microscope. The Justice Department department there was looking into dozens of police shootings and the department's use of force policies. But in an era where openness and transparency are watchwords for many public leaders, interim chief Banks appeared to be something else. In video from our NBC affiliate in New Mexico, listen as Banks at a news conference when he was asked last October if he would release that video that you just saw, something the former chief was known to do. Am I going to show what? Yeah, no, I'm not. Now the chief of police for this department and I have the way that I'm going to do things my way. Now fast forward six months and we are seeing that video for the first time because the investigation in New Mexico is wrapped up. Now a little bit ago I talked with Chief Banks on the phone. He told me the intent of his comments then were aimed at separating himself from his predecessor, not to be combated with the media. We also reached out to the man who hired Banks, Round Rock City Manager Steve Norwood. In a statement today, Norwood says Banks was fully vetted by an outside firm. Norwood went on to say he stands behind the decision to hire Banks. You can read the rest of those statements online and watch more of that video too. They're with this story on KXAN.com. Robert Maxwell, KXAN Investigates.